Ooh. Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Chris and Chris show. <laughs> we are back from Battlefield 3. We waited in line for over four hours to get you our first first review, I guess, of Battlefield 3. Yep. Uh, show opened at 12. We got into the first room at 20 after 4. Uh, they were letting in a lot of VIPs, people that won't buy the game, probably investors, people in suits. But we stayed the course and uh, almost guess, killed ourselves yeah. in, during the wait. And uh, we don't know if it was fully worth it, but uh, it was. It I think was it would fun. have been better if we had been able to take photographs and film. But yeah, they uh, they weren't allowed to film or anything. I took notes um, during the presentation, so we've got some. Uh, we there's a presentation by Lars Gustafsson, is that how you say Lars his name? Gustafsson. And, uh, and Tommy from Dice. Uh, he went over the four classes. The one that you see with the medic symbol, that's the assault class. Uh, it's got med pack paddles, assault rifle and pistol, engineers, RPGs, pistol, SMG and repair tool. Um, we are playing only we we're playing Rush on Operation Metro only as attackers. Defenders were on Sweden or, or some, some they, other location. Yeah, the people who were at the show only played as attackers. Yeah, there were 15, 20 PCs? I'm guessing there were 16. 16, yeah, it was 16. It was, it was 16 a 32 PCs. player version map for Operation yeah. Metro. Um, so we did that. Uh, what else? Support has LMG and ammo. And that, that's got the, uh, the bullet symbol. You see a little bullet symbol? That's a support class. And Recon has a sniper rifle. Uh, we started out with the SVD and, uh, and C4. We did not see mortars and no ghillie suits. And I didn't see any motion balls either. Yeah, I didn't see any motion yeah. balls either. So that's good. Um, the game looked really good. Yeah. The, you're saying... Uh, field of view is probably 55, something like that, so it's pretty 55. low. Yeah. Sensitivity is pretty high. We were using Razer mice um, and... On the, Alienware PCs and yeah, monitors. And, and Astro headsets. Mm -hmm. uh, sounded good. I wish I could turn up my headset. Um, that was good. They didn't have uh, voice chat, but you don't... Know. I had voice chat on mine with the people who were in the room. Oh, I'm wondering yeah. if that's what I was hearing. I, I couldn't really tell if that was... I thought it was maybe just people behind me. Yeah, I had what? some some guy who was running the the show. He, I don't think he's from Dice or even from EA. He's probably they probably just pulled him in for the day or for the show. And he was like, "Have you ever played Battlefield before?" I'm like, "Dude, <laughs> yeah. are you kidding me?" And uh, he was comparing it to Halo, so he was kind of out of the loop. But um, yeah, the the graphics were looking pretty good. I don't think they were on the same level as the trailer. Though. No, I think they might have toned it down a little bit just for stability state sake or because they haven't optimized it perfectly. But yeah. it was still looking really, really good. Probably one notch above Crisis Two maxed out on PC would be my best. Yeah, bet. I noticed some minor clipping, but I, I I couldn't really tell if that was clipping or maybe a little bit of lag. I'm mm -hmm. not really sure. It was very minor. There was some screen tearing. Oh, maybe that was it. Yeah. That's what I noticed. Um, did we talk about PS3? No. No PS3s. No consoles were available uh, at the show to play, at least for at the least public. For us, for yeah. The, we don't know. The non appointment people. Yeah. Um, so we didn't get to see any console footage or gameplay or anything like that. Um, I went 9 and 6 on PC. You got the Ace Pin 19 and 8. Yeah. Um, you find it. Transferable, skills transferable, everything else? Yeah, it had, um, it's kind of like a mix, in my opinion, when it comes to controls and the way the guns handle, of, like, uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2, Medal of Honor, and Battlefield 2. Yeah, that would probably be pretty accurate. Um, and a good mix. Yeah, it looks like Medal of Honor, like the little, the blue little the UI, icons, yeah. yeah, stuff like that, um like little health things or, or whatever. Um, lots of recoil on guns. Tons. Assault has lots of recoil. LMGs, lots of recoil. I didn't notice too much on the SMG. That M4A1 is a beast. I got a easy triple spray. Easy, easy triple spray. Or double spray on it. Um, with 
without even trying. Hip fires very easily, so that's good. We didn't get to try out the bipod. Support has a bipod for LMGs, which ups accuracy and lowers re recoil. And uh, I don't know if you have to be in the bipod to suppress, but they went over... Yeah. When you're being suppressed, it adds a stress effect to your screen. Mm -hmm. So we kind of saw that. I, th I think it adds... Uh, like a blur around the edge or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I noticed that. I got shot by by one guy on the first base, and uh, there was some blur around the screen. They also kind of hinted that it would actually decrease decrease your accuracy or, oh, or okay. something else um, when you're being suppressed, and you get points if your teammates kill an enemy whom you're suppressing. Yeah, I think we we saw that in the in the trailer as well. Yeah, uh, there's three attachments to all guns: primary, secondary, and I can't remember the third one. I think the third one might be the flashlight attachment. Um, Tommy said they are, and I quote, almost infinitely customizable, which is probably not the correct word because I assume it'd be like maybe a hundred different options or a hundred different ways to customize it. Yeah. Um, but it, it seems pretty cool. I think the third one might be the barrel. Maybe we're speculating Ammunition. That. Maybe. Ammunition, yeah. yeah. Um, the flashlight attachment that we've seen actually has a point. Um, enemies that we're killing at close range is fairly blinding. Uh, enough to obscure almost all their body, or at least their top half, I would More think. More than... You, if, if I had come across three enemies and one of them had had a flashlight, I wouldn't have been able to see any of them Right. at uh, close range. It's incredibly blinding, even when you're outside uh, during the day. And at far range, probably... I don't know what it'd be, 50 or more feet. Uh, it, it makes them easier to see. That's what I thought. I, I was aiming above above them for headshots uh, fairly easily. Yeah. But uh, it, it's interesting that it plays that much of... You wouldn't think a flashlight would be a useful attachment in mm -hmm. multiplayer, but... Definitely is. Yeah, definitely is. Um, what else? Oh, something very cool for the knifing. Dog tags are back. And the only way to get them is doing a, what's the word that they used? A stealth a st attack from stealth behind. stealth knife from behind to get tags. Yeah. So that's pretty interesting. The tags themselves are pretty neat. You're able to design them using, I don't know if it'd be a clan tag or at least a picture mm -hmm. of the, the things we saw, as well as a stat. You can pick a stat to choose. And they'll dynamically update. So if somebody grabs your tags and you have your KD on it, that will dynamically update. At least. Yeah, so you could do uh, examples were number of air kills from like air vehicles, uh, hours played, KD, I'm guessing score per minute, Yeah. probably. And there was something they quickly touched on about showing other people your dog tags in the game. So I'm I guessing you'll be able to see it all on Battle Log, which is their kind of the competitor to COD Elite. Yeah. So that was good. Uh, in game spawn menu looked pretty cool. It was uh, almost Medal of Honor esque, being wide and clear. Yeah. Uh, not as not as hard to see. Uh, kit loadout we weren't able to play with those. We just had the four classes available and not able to change the kits. Um, there is there is four squad mates which we saw. We weren't able to change our squad. Mm -hmm. At least there wasn't an option for it. And we're kind of speculating that the, what's it called, the squad leader, you're only able to spawn on him, and you are, if you're the last person alive, you're able to be spawned on? I think the squad leader is dynamically chosen based upon who is doing the best or who has been alive the longest, because... I jumped into the game. I was not the squad leader. I spawned on somebody else. Uh, that person was promptly killed, and I got a notification on my screen saying that I was now the, the squad leader and that my squad could spawn on me. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that's cool. That way you don't have to like apply for it or, or really know how to become the squad leader. It just automatically chooses the person who's doing the best or who who has been alive the longest or who has the best position. Right. Um, something, well, what did you think of the controls? Let's talk about that. Um, they seem pretty fluid. I mean, movements, 
The movements were good. Um, I thought, I mean, I had a little bit of issue with crouching cause just because he was so low. Unlimited runs back. That's yeah, unlimited important. sprint. Important. Um, you said it was slow to go to prone. Uh, you go into prone pretty quickly, about as quickly as you would expect, but you get out of prone very slowly. Okay. Uh, which I think is good. That yeah. way you won't see people going up and down and just uh, doing the worm down the street. Yeah, dolphin that would dives, suck. Yeah. Um, jumping. I tried to jump. I didn't do it in an, a gunfight, but uh, jumping seemed slower to me less of a hop more of a like down on knees jump mm -hmm. but that I mean, that could be easily changed and uh, vaulting vaulting oh, the animation is really awkward it you it doesn't you look see very both good. your feet when you jump yeah. I, I don't understand that that would be so tiring it's like you're i i, I don't <laughs> know how you would so both see both your feet when you're jumping like that and um, it didn't work perfectly i yeah. uh if you've seen the multiplayer teaser, then you've probably seen the, the subway section. There are trains, and at one point I had to get into a, a subway car, and jumping into the subway car took a couple tries. Uh, it didn't work the way I expected it to. It didn't work perfectly. I would jump like halfway up and then have to jump again. Um, so maybe they need to work on that. Maybe they need to r completely revamp it. I don't know, but... Um, the vaulting needs a bit of work. Yeah, like uh, I, I get that they're trying to show that ant thing, but seriously, if I'm jumping over a fence, I don't need to jump with both feet and, <laughs> and see both my feet. Like that's yeah, like it's kind of annoying. It looks kind of silly. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, in the presentation, they said uh, the LAV twenty five carries six people. Um, you're able to select the two different guns, just mm -hmm. like you would. It also weapons. has night vision. And it also has night vision. We don't know if that's a spec or if that's included. I'm pretty sure it's included because it's it the, like. the left mouse button is to fire the weapons on the on the lav, and the right mouse button was for night vision, and there was also primary and secondary fire mm -hmm. for the lav. Uh, and I'm. Did you did you notice regenerative health? I didn't. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have it because I got hit behind a wall. I went back. And like a blur went away, but then I, I popped around the corner and it was like one or two bullet kills. So uh, I didn't have time to glance. I, I wish they would have let us record, but yeah, that would have been very I don't helpful. Know what <laughs> um, you armed a couple MCOMs. I didn't even get close because I was, I don't know what I was doing. I armed at least five MCOMs. Five MCOMs. <laughs> uh, arming's 100 points, destroying is 200. I don't know about the arming score, but destroying is definitely 200. Okay. Uh, kills are 100. Assists are 50. Assists are 50. Yeah. Um, they don't have the ability to crate bash or destroy MCOMs at this point. Yeah. MCOMs do not take damage. The only way you can destroy them is by arming them and waiting for them to explode. Yeah. Although, it, it kind of seem, seemed like the, uh, the MCOMs exploded faster. Hmm. Because we blew through those bases so yeah. quickly. Uh, the defenders didn't really seem to know what they were doing, which was kind of weird. But even so, like, there, there were two bases where I armed both of the MCOMs <laughs> for that respective base. Yeah. And the first MCOM was destroyed by the time I had sprinted over to the second one. Oh, okay. So we're pretty quick. It goes really fast. Yeah. Um... They said they are still tweaking the ability to destroy MCOMs. So, yeah. uh, again, stickers on every machine that said pre-alpha. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. It's still, there's a when lot of changes that come? can be made. Like, I don't know. Probably late summer, right before the the, the beta the in beta, September. Yeah. yeah. Um, Lars was showing us a bit of the map with no enemies in it. Uh, he shot an RPG. It looked like a 15-foot radius. Kind of the, the was, destruction. Big, yeah. Uh, what else? Yeah, weird jumping. And the, the ground takes a lot more damage yeah. than it used to in Bad Company 2. Yeah. Uh, there's a little bit of textures they need to work on. That's obviously not a very big deal. Everything yeah, they have so much good, time for that. So. Yeah. Uh, it, it ran a lot better and had way fewer pr uh, like problems and bugs and issues than I thought it would have yeah. at this stage. Well, you saw one bug with the camera when you were 
sprinting I, into curl. I, I sprinted and then I immediately went prone and uh, it seemed like the ant animation system had momentum and my body kept going and it obscured my vision. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, the spawns need work. Again, that is probably an easy fix. Uh, an enemy spawn literally right in front, in front of me, maybe five, ten feet in front of me. Mm -hmm. uh, totally oblivious, but I'm sure they can do that. Um, yeah, the aiming and, and movement was very smooth. Love. Lighting is excellent. Lighting is very excellent. There's a, I don't know what you'd call it, not really a cutscene, but um, after you blow the first set of objectives, uh, the F-18s drop the JDAM bomb and it actually destroys the street and then you go through the street into the subway. Mm -hmm. So it has kind of the story elements that both Bad Company 2 had in Rush Mode and Medal of Honor had in Combat Mission Mode. Right. And I really like that. I think yeah. it's cool. It adds to the level and adds to kind of the cinematic feel. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, but we fought um, first bases outside, second two bases were underground. Yeah. And then the last, last one, was outside. one was outside. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So uh, revives are 100 points. Med packs and ammo packs are huge. Like, they, they're <laughs> big, big, big. I didn't get any points for ammo, even though every single person was calling for it, mm -hmm. like, above them. Uh, but maybe somebody didn't just... How was spotting? I got a spot assist, but I, I never spotted anybody. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's an automatic thing. I didn't press E on anybody. I didn't really, I didn't really notice if anybody else did. <laughs> So that's uh, again. If we had more, I would have had more time. I could have. Yeah, we need. We need more things. time. Yeah, and we'll try and go back on Thursday. As long as I'm not going back crazy, tomorrow, unless There's someone no can hook us up with VIP. Because yeah, tweet at at Battlefield and EA and tell them to get us some yeah. VIP passes. Cause we need to get back in. Pixel there. Enemy needs VIP passes because <laughs> those by the end we're just getting pissed off at those VIPs. Like yeah, you guys don't need to play this. They just suit and tie and oh a battlefield I think excellent. some of them were literally walking around with like stock portfolios they just had these little notebooks and briefcases but I'm never going to buy the game <laughs> oh, that's stupid uh, so final so, words let's do it yes it's a buy if it's this is pre-alpha what okay there was no kill cams no kill cams oh yes when it's you like die you go on your side it's clear, kind of like hardcore mode. You couldn't move around. I mean, you're obviously dead. But no kill cams. It seemed like there was a pause, and they were able to be added. Yeah, there was it seemed wait. like there was a, like a time that there could be a kill cam. Yeah, I didn't find it frustrating. I remember playing the Medal of Honor beta and getting killed, and, I, and just thinking, I have no idea where that came, mm -hmm. came from. Uh, you can take four, probably shots of bullets before you die like it wasn't it was not like medal of honor you no. don't go down like that um you could when i was firing at people it was like four or five shots yeah. with the m16 yeah. i could definitely tell where i was getting killed or where i was getting shot from before i got killed yeah so and, that's good and the svd at pretty close quarters was a three shot kill three shot to the kill. body yeah uh which i think is fair it had a lot of kick um i noticed um which is backwards from the multiplayer trailer, no hit markers, hip firing, but hit markers aiming out sights. Really? Yeah. I, I didn't notice that. I, I didn't do too much hit firing. I two people and, and no hit markers at all, but SVD um, and the LMGs gave me hit markers. Hmm. So that's good. Hit markers, uh, they're clear. I, I like them. They're, yeah. They're, they're very, very nice to see. Uh, there was a little bit of an issue... The darkness of the player model and the darkness. I couldn't yeah, really I noticed tell. that. Players, even in broad daylight during the first base, were very dark. Yeah, so that that'd be easy to skin, I guess. And uh huh. Um. So what do you? What do you think of the map? Uh, it's not as big as I would have liked, but I think that's kind of the point. And only have one vehicle. One vehicle. Nobody. For the attackers. Nobody grabbed it. Nobody grabbed. It. Whatever. <laughs> Um, I tried to flank purposely, and that's when I that guy spawned right in front of me. Uh, I think I was almost at the edge of the map anyway. Mm -hmm. He did say there's... So that's four base rush, right? Or five yeah, base? it was four base. 
four base rush, and he said there's four different areas to have team deathmatch. But yeah. I would think if you have two, you could probably do it at the same time. Cool. So. The Pixel Enemy guys are here, so we're going <laughs> <Yeah. on. laughs> See you guys later. Talk to you guys soon. Bye, I love you!